the effect of leverage of one bank on the rest of the banks and the system and the rest of the economy is a negative effect similar to what polluters have on the environment, which is the more they pollute, the worse off the rest of us are, even if it potentially lowers their cost. Similarly, when banks have more leverage, then they introduce more systemic risk because when they become distressed, everything else becomes distressed and like that, and the rest of the economy suffers. And so to subsidize the leverage, which is basically the way this system works, that the more leverage they have, the more they basically benefit from both tax and implicit guarantee advantages, is very much akin to us subsidizing pollution, which is, seems crazy, doesn't it? And so, of course, if we were to tell polluters to stop polluting, they would say that their costs would go up if we otherwise subsidize that. So they will have less subsidies. But that's not a reason to allow pollution. Uh, similarly, in the context of banks, the fact that they would pay more taxes is not a reason to allow leverage because you can always say, OK, we'll settle this tax differently. We, you will pay taxes as if you have 2% equity, but in fact, you will have 15% equity. So we can settle the tax. That is a policy matter. This is a sort of man-made, person-made friction out there that goes the wrong way, in fact. We're subsidizing the wrong way of funding for banks. Instead of sort of subsidizing and helping them fund with more equity, we are subsidizing the leverage. In fact, the only way they can get cheaper funding is to leverage more and more and more. And that is a very, very unhealthy situation, which inadvertently, the way the system works, we encourage. That's very dysfunctional.